go. Some more moonfish, and then we get Hi. to see what this fucking freak of nature looks like when it's finished eating. Betray your trust sooner or later, or so Lessian told the mirrors. Maybe that hit a little close to home. I don't know. For whatever reason, the mirrors began to snoop around for information regarding Mendoza. And that's when he found out that that Mendoza was using the Exartakans as slaves for his own personal profit. He forced the Exartakans to work a few extra hours here and there pocketed all the extra moonstones that they could they found for himself. Ooh, so he wasn't that less of an asshole. Jesus. The struggle this discovery was almost too much for Mimas to bear. He went directly to Admiral Mendoza and confronted him. My lord, is it true? Is it true that the moon about the moonstones? And the Ixar Titan slaves? I would lie to you. <laughs> I would lie to you. Yes, it is true. But what's the problem? Is there something wrong with making money? With desiring wealth and power? We're well, forcing this attack to work grueling hours in inhuman conditions. My lord, you promised me. You told me that you would speak to Her Majesty in regards to the way these attackers were being treated. <laughs> true, you are naive, aren't you? And what exactly do you think would have happened if I did that? Majesty would find out about my little scheme and I would basically be signing my own death warrant. How, how could you lie to me like that? It's quite unfortunate that things had to turn out this way, Ramirez. And to think I thought of you as a son. Regardless, you uncovered my plans and have left me no choice. Guards, seize him! Everything. All that I have believed in. Ah! By the time I got there, it was already too late. The guards, you meant Elton and Mendoza. They had all fallen under Amiris' blade. Fucking hell. Amiris, what have you done? I'm sorry, Doc. But I can no longer trust humans. I can no longer remain here. Wait, Amiris, where are you going? Goodbye, Doc. Amiris that you knew is no more. Died the moment I drew my blade against Admiral Mendoza. From now on, I will only believe in the strength. I shall only follow those with power. Wait, Ramirez! Ramirez! Fucking hell. There were some dark corners there. So, Ramirez went to Glitzy inside and I believe you know the rest of the story. I had spent so much time with both Mendoza and Ramirez. 
And yet, I could do nothing to stop this tragedy from happening. If only I had the strength to stop it. Men do so many as the area. All of their lives would have turned out so much different. I know, no, we will stop living in the past. I'm just going to keep moving forward and hope for the best. And besides, I think it's a blessing that I was able to save me from the burning package of the pillar. Uh -huh. There we go. The pillar? That's me. Some of the pirates that were passing through the area helped save most of the crew after we left them. Hey, Doc, Maria wouldn't happen having all this sister, would she? Actually, she did. Wait, did I forget to tell you that? Well, unfortunately, she went missing after the accident. Nobody knows what happened to her. Poor Piastle. <laughs> Poor Piastle indeed! She's been kicking my ass up and down the street! It's bothered me for years and I couldn't say both. Hey, it's her. Uh-huh. There's no doubt about it. We and Pearsall are long lost sisters. Go tell Pearsall. Yes, she said she would come to fight us again sometime. When we see her, we'll tell her everything we know. What she does with this information is up to her. Yeah, but I'm guessing after a battle. Wait, I've got another fish for you. Hi. Right, let's see how big this fucker grows after the final fish. It's getting big. I don't think there's any more moonfish for it. I think that's it, I'm afraid. <laughs>